young industrial tech companies are looking for Wall Street dollars, and he's the guy making it happen. In my second of three conversations on ESG and carbon-free energy financing, I talked to Jim Schaefer of Guggenheim Securities. Where it all be today? I'm Monica Trousey. This is Off the Menu. And great to be here, Monica. So tell me a little bit about how you advise clean tech companies and how you make that connection between the work that they're doing, some of them much younger companies, and you're connecting them to Wall Street and the money that they're really seeking in order to to move their products forward. Right now, one of the big challenges is raising money for industrial tech, whether it's battery technology, nuclear technology, advanced solar technology, anything that is going to be carbon free off into the future, including carbon capture technology really hard to raise money. It really depends on the provenness of the technology. So if we're advising proven solar, proven wind, proven battery technology, such such as lithium-based battery technology, then there's a tremendous amount of money available from both equity and debt investors. For other technologies, such as new battery technology, advanced nuclear technology, advanced solar, could be a variety of subcategories. Um, If that technology is, let's say, three to seven or 10 years off on on the horizon, what we really look for and what investors look for are relationships with customers, um, some sort of proven demonstration level technology. In other words, something not just in a science lab, a little bit bigger than in a science lab that that shows that this technology is actually feasible on an industrial scale. But at the end of the day, there's another part of this, which is marrying advanced technology with Wall Street money oftentimes requires either federal or state government support. There are folks on Wall Street, though, that really question the feasibility of advanced nuclear. Why do you actually look at it in a positive way? In my mind, given the the demands of the grid um, off into the future and the fact that we are shutting down coal right now, And also there's a real concern period about carbon, which means that natural gas is also in the crosshairs. We're going to need baseload generation that is clean. My premise is hydro alone, which is clean, will not solve uh, the baseload dilemma. And the only solution is advanced nuclear. So batteries combined with solar and wind are addressing a big part of the decarbonization plans of, of many today. At some point, as we continue to shut down baseload generation, the only option will be advanced nuclear. So I look at that. It's not too expensive? Well, look, at the moment, when you compare it to natural gas and and where electricity prices uh, on the grid, it is expensive. But at the end of the day, um, you know, the combination, again, of solar, wind, batteries, and also energy efficiency as well, which is something that this nation and other nations haven't really tackled as of yet, that's not going to be enough. So we are going to have to invest in the grid and in new technology. It's going to take a massive undertaking to restructure baseload generation, but I see it on the horizon. And I do believe that investors can be educated around the technology. And I think some of these uh, companies can be financed now. Does there continue to be an appetite among investors for um, more traditional sources of energy that perhaps are not carbon free? that crowd is, is shrinking in size. So what we've seen um, of late is that, and I'll pick on the gas LDC universe as an example, gas LDCs truly are agnostic when it comes to whether, whether it comes to whether they're pulling natural gas to their pipelines or hydrogen. But at the end of the day, those entities are trading much worse than they were 18 months ago, 24 months ago. So when you, when you look at all the technologies that are on the horizon. I know you, you mentioned advanced nuclear. Is there anything that really sticks out to you that you're excited about um, that you think is just super cool? Love that over the last 20 years, the, the, the rise of solar and wind and now battery technology. Um, I, I think that arena, you know, in, in North America alone will have at least a couple of trillion dollars to be invested in over the next 10 years. If you buy into that and if you buy into the idea that some of these technologies are in fact, you know, potentially competitive with natural gas or at least close to it, then it's a win for consumers. Thank you. That was excellent. Thank you. I really appreciate um, your insight.